गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वी विल स्टार्ट विद बायो केमिस्ट्री क्लास टूडे सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज हेयर अमाइनो एसिड हेयर द फर्स्ट वन इज विटर आयन द टर्म इज विटर आयन मीन्स द पॉजिटिव आयन आर इक्वल टू नेगेटिव आयन दे डोंट हैव एनी नेट चार्ज नेक्स्ट टर्म इज आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक पॉइंट इट इज द पॉइंट वेयर अमाइनो एसिड डोंट हैव एनी चार्ज एंड दे डू नॉट मूव और दे डू नॉट माइग्रेट नेक्स्ट इज द फास्टेस्ट migration of amino acids are seen in chromatography then amino acids which are non polar or neutral in nature are glycine and valine valine is more non polar in nature as compared to glycine coming to the next topic that is essential amino acid mnemonic here is pvt tim hall p stands for phenylalanine then valine tryptophan threonine isoleucine methionine histidine arginine leucine and lysine then uh, in essential amino acids we have conditional amino acids these are not basically important or essential amino acid but they become essential or important in case of certain illnesses and in case of stress these include arginine cysteine glutamine tyrosine glycine ornithine proline and serine arginine and histidine are also uh, semi essential amino acids they help in the growth of children again uh, essential amino acids are glucogenic in nature <coughs> and non essential amino acids are ketogenic in nature basic amino acids are histidine arginine and lysine you can remember this with the monic hall that is h for histidine a for arginine l for lysine then sulfur containing amino acids are methionine and cysteine cm then aromatic amino acids are phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan and phenylalanine and tyrosine are uh, associated with each other then uh, phenylalanine and tyrosine are precursor for epinephrine norepinephrine t3 t4 and melanine then tryptophan are uh, precursor for melatonin and serotonin then uh, these table are associated with the essential amino acids so essential amino acids are further divided as basic amino acid sulfur containing amino acid branched chain amino acids aromatic uh, aliphatic hydroxyl amino acid like that so uh, basic amino acid are already told hall that is histidine arginine and lysine among them uh, lysine are deficient in cereals that is a commonly asked question arginine are most basic amino acid then coming to uh, aliphatic uh, amino acid that is live l leucine i se isoleucine v se valine so uh, leucine is the only ketogenic amino acid all other uh, essential amino acids are glucogenic in nature only leucine is the ketogenic essential amino acid then coming to aromatic phenylalanine so phenylalanine has a uh, specific group of benzene ring in its structure uh, it is uh, associated with formation of tyrosine which further forms epinephrine norepinephrine t3 t4 thyroid hormone and melanine coming to tryptophan which is aromatic in nature it is the precursor of niacin serotonin and melatonin then uh, sulfur containing amino acid <laughs> cm uh, methionine and uh, cysteine methionine is a precursor of homocysteine in presence of vitamin b12 and it is also precursor of spermidin it is a precursor of uh, homocysteine and spermidin spermidin is present in ribosome and sperms then coming to cysteine uh, cysteine uh, is basically uh, for helps in formation of coenzyme a taurine glutathione and beta mercaptoethanolamine then uh, coming to uh, glycine and alanine glycine is the most simplest amino acid and it gives flexibility to the structure of protein it is optically inactive and it is associated with the uh, heme synthesis creatine formation and glutathione coming to alanine it is the most glucogenic amino acid uh, it has a role in glucose alanine uh, cycle it is a component of pentothenic acid and its level increases during the starvation then coming to acidic amino acids these are glutamate and aspartate these acidic amino acid always remember are associated with purine pyrimidine formation and urea synthesis 
So glutamate is a precursor of purine pyrimidine. Aspartate is also the most acidic amino acid, AA. So it is the most acidic amino acid and it has a role in pyrimidine, purine and urea synthesis. Coming to uh, glutamine, glutamine are most abundant amino acids and they are uh, optically inactive in nature. Then coming to aromatic tyrosine, it is again uh, the structure associated with it is phenol ring and it helps in formation of T3, T4, epinephrine, norepinephrine and melanine. Among this, uh, these are non-essential amino acids and they have specific structures in the blood and in the protein synthesis. Okay. Further, uh, amino acids are divided as polar and non-polar amino acids. So, polar amino acids are hydrophilic in nature and non-polar amino acids are hydrophobic in nature. So, polar amino acid, uh, here the basic amino acid or positively charged amino acids are whole that is histidine, H-A-L, that is histidine, arginine and valine. Among them, acidic amino acid or negatively charged amino acid are aspartate and glutamate. Here, aspartate is the most acidic one. Then coming to the non-charged, sorry, uncharged amino acids. Uh, it has different uh, amino acids, serine, threonine, tyrosine, cysteine, glutamine, aspartine and glycine. Then non-polar amino acids or uncharged amino acids. These are proline, methionine, alanine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, isoleucine, lysine and valine. So, uh, to uh, remember positively charged basic amino acid, mnemonic is called. To uh, remember acidically charged uh, or negatively charged amino acid, AG, that is aspartate and glutamate. Remember these commonly asked questions. Then uh, some yielding point questions like amino acid forming succinyl CoA uh, mnemonic here is met there via isoleucine. So met methionine there threonine via valine and isoleucine. These amino acids are associated with succinyl CoA. Another rubric here is MTV plus isoleucine. Okay, amino acid forming alpha ketoglutarate. So mnemonic is his gala performance, his histidine, G, glycine, ala, alanine, performance, proline. So you can remember through this. Then uh, as earlier told, glycine, the simplest amino acid, abundantly present. It is associated with the flexibility of the protein. Then uh, pro uh, proline is reducing the flexibility of the protein. It is abundant in the fibrous part of the collagen. Then elasticity of cornified skin is due to keratocysteine. Then keratin of nail is stronger because of uh, sulfur bond, SS bond. Then dentin of enamel is the hardest substance of the body. These are some commonly asked questions. Okay. Amino acids uh, and their metabolites in the urine are commonly found foundations. Like histidine is found normally in pregnancy. Then branched chain amino acid, LIV, leucine, isoleucine and valine, LIV. These are found in maple syrup urine disease. Then cola amino acid, that is cysteine, ornithine, lysine and arginine. They are found in cysteine urea. Then BMA metabolites are found in fumosite. Okay. As earlier told, maple syrup urine is associated with the uh, inherited defect in dehydrogenase of live chain, leucine, isoleucine and valine chain of keto acids. Heart knob disease is associated with the tryptophan defect. Drummond or blue diaper syndrome is associated with the breakdown of unabsorbed tryptophan. Canvan disease is associated with N-acetyl aspartate. Arginine is rich in ApoE. Then BLN9 is the end product of cysteine. These are single liners which are uh, previously asked. Carnitine is synthesized from lysine and methionine. Carnosine is present in the muscle. Then succinyl CoA uh, is formed uh, by amino acid methva. M for methionine, I for isoleucine, threonine, and valine. Then alpha ketoglutarate, FAG, that is mnemonic for, for FAG, is. P, proline, H, histidine, 
A. alanine, G. glassy. Then hemoglobinopathy is sickle cell anemia has single point mutation for glutamic acid replaced by valine at beta 6 uh, position, beta chain 6 position by missense mutation. In case of uh, HBS sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin uh, A is absent, adult hemoglobin is absent. In HBC, here glutamic acid is replaced by lysine at B6 position. In HBE, glutamic acid is replaced by lysine in B26 position. In HBD, glutamic acid is replaced by glutamine in B121 position. Next, uh, these, uh, these are the list of amino acids which are deficient in cereal pulses and males. maize. In cereal, uh, threonine and lysine are deficient. In pulses, methionine and cysteine are deficient. In maize, tryptophan and lysine are deficient. Then uh, these are uh, the uh, certain protein products which are formed by these amino acids. So creatinine is formed by uh, mnemonic for these amino acids is GAME. G for glycine, A for arginine, M E is for methionine. These are forming the creatin. Next for purine we have acidic amino acids. Uh, mnemonic here is GATS, G for glycine, A for aspartate, G for glutamine, then serine. Cysteine, formed by cysteine. Then pyramidines, again acidic amino acids, aspartate and glutamine. Histone proteins, uh, these are rich in basic proteins, arginine, lysine, okay, and basic proteins. Next. Hemoglobin, it is formed by histidine, lysine and arginine, HLA, histidine, lysine and arginine, forming the hemoglobin. Again, keratin is formed by same HLA, histidine, lysine and arginine. Then choline is formed by methionine, glycine and serine and B6. Then uh, coming to uh, the number of polypeptides and their protein, lysozyme has one polypeptide, integrin has two polypeptide chains. Collagen has three polypeptides chain and hemoglobin has four polypeptides chain. This table has uh, different peptides or proteins uh, which have a certain role in the blood. So, like in, for example, antimicrobial properties, the example of these proteins are ma uh, meganin, defensin, cacropain, and cathelicity. For tachykinin pro uh, peptides, we have substance P, neurokinin ANP, and casein. For pancreatic polypeptide related peptides, we have in NPY, neuropeptide Y. For opioids, we have encaphalin and pro opiomelicortin. And for VIPs, vasoactive intestinal peptide, we have pituitary adenylate, cyclase activating peptide, glucagon, and secretin. Okay, these are some uh, proteins uh, which have uh, important roles and which are frequently asked. The first one here is histidine, which has the highest or greatest buffering capacity. Uh, here it acts as a buffer at physiological level and it is associated with the atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease as homocysteine. Then it, uh, homocysteine accelerates the aging process while the cysteine and tyrosine decreases the aging process. The next one is glutathione. It is a tripeptide and it has uh, three amino acids, glycine, cysteine and glutamate. It helps in the transport of amino acids in kidneys and guts. So also it helps in conversion of methemoglobin to hemoglobin and its deficiency may lead to G6PD deficiency. That was about glutathione. Next is chaperone. Chap uh, caprons are uh, basically proteins which help in prevention of misfolding of other proteins. These are also called heat shock proteins or quality control or editor proteins. And uh, there are certain proteinopathies which are given in the table. Aggregation of proteins may uh, lead to these certain conditions like aggregation of hemoglobin may lead to uh, sickle cell anemia. Prion proteins may lead to Creutzfeldt jakob disease. Huntington may lead to Huntington's disease. Beta myeloid may lead to Alzheimer's disease. Alpha synuclein may lead to Parkinson's disease. Trafficking in protein may lead to uh, beta glucosidase may lead to Gaucher's disease. CFTR protein may lead to cystic fibrosis. 
Rhodopsin may lead to retinitis pigmentosa. All these are proteinopathies. Again, uh, what is prote uh, proteomics? proteomics? That is the study of protein structure and function biological process like 